the Sixers are already right off the back and play the Raptors for the second time this year, this time at home. Um, so I don't, I don't know the spread. The spread hasn't come out yet uh, for this game. Uh, it's tomorrow night, um, or no, Thursday night, I believe. Yeah, uh, Thursday night. Oh yeah, it's on TNT. Uh, who do you guys have in that one? I'm assuming we're going to see some of the uh, the new guys come over and uh, and, and play in this one. We're, we're going to need to. We've already we've already, we've already cut uh, Danny Green, some of the other guys in the squad. Well, I mean, yeah, you had to make a roster spot. Um, I think we we're we're going to win. I think we're cover whatever we're spread like is. That. Um, I think we are, we're in a good rhythm right now. I think we can get them. We're in a good rhythm. I think we're past them. And I mean, we're past kind of all this, the things that were going on. Um, it'd be interesting to see if, you know, if the guys do play, new guys do play and how many we play, like I said before, I think that matter, that matters, but I, I still don't think we're going to slow down for what we've been doing. I think we have some days off. We'll come out rolling and, and and get this one handled. Deja, uh, there's some rumors out there that uh, OG Ananobi is uh, one of the guys that I think uh, Chris Mannix said we're going to be looking into uh, OG Ananobi um, and playing us for the second time this year. Here we go. His name is like the most wanted guy in the world. Um, you know. Well, well, that was the report Man- Mannix said with the, with the picks. Well, the picks were getting. My we're getting, son was uh, like, "He yeah, fits our team." I'm like, "Why everybody keeps saying he fits our team?" Like, I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> Who Ananobi? Yeah, I'm like, "What is it? What does he do?" It just fits someone. Who, like, why is his someone name? Who, why is his it's name? Someone who already Jalen. Like, hmm. Go ahead. He's sorry. A what? No, I said someone whose name is like always been brought up in trade talks. Like, not just with us, like with a lot of teams. Like, what? Yeah. What? Makes him – is it his salary? I know maybe, Tasia, you know, you can do that. Or, like, what is it? Well, for the past few years, it has been his salary related to how good he's been, like how, how, how much he's progressed over the years. But, like, that's – he's going to opt out this year. So, it's going to be – I mean, that's pretty much a contract year for him. He's not going to stay at whatever he's making now. He's going to opt out and try to sign a bigger deal. Um, I, I think he's just easily – adaptable to a lot of different teams he, he's, he's a he's long he can play two and three um he's big but he can guard like your other team's best wing um he doesn't need the ball in his hands all the time and he's a good three-point shooter i think with guys like that who've gotten better every year um especially when they're on a great contract yeah you, that's why everyone was calling him about him but that's why i think he's really easy to fit in now he's a guy we could put, put on tatum you know like <laughs> We need that, so um, that's that's probably why we're – and he's someone who can score 15 to 18 and not have the ball – not need the ball in his hands a lot. He can just take open jumpers, create a little bit when, when other guys are cold, but in general he just locks 15 to 18 down. on this team? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. I would assume at that point Melton is not going to take a bigger jump in points per game. Yeah, that's we what I'm saying. Like 15, 18, like somebody got to get less now. I'm just, you know, just asking. Yeah. And I would assume, who knows? When I say 15 to 18, I mean like I mean, somebody, going yeah, I mean, forward, I, right? I mean, somebody else is going to have to go. I mean, I just, I mean, if a guy like him yeah. is coming, all I'm saying is it, they're not just going to take just him. I mean, somebody else is going to have to move. Um, yeah. So, yeah. 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 I, I, I personally, I don't know. I, I'm, I've talked about Tobias and I've given crap about his contract and, and all, but I've always said, I'd love to have him back like next year and beyond at a, at a favorable deal, obviously uh, like a Harrison Barnes type contract. Favorable um, for who? Well, for all parties. What do you mean? I mean, he doesn't have to move his f- entire family. He gets to stay at a good market rate. I mean, you know, I think Harrison Barnes is a he's good player. He's not living in Philly when he's done playing basketball. He's not going to live in Philly when he's finished playing basketball. I mean, no, but I mean, family. what are you talking about? Well, every other day, there's an article from like a you know someone's wife complaining about getting traded and having to like take their kids out of school and stuff. So it's it's it's, it's an inconvenience, right? Like people don't like to be traded in the middle of the season, unless they hate the city, unless you're James Harden. Um, but for the most part, people don't like being uprooted. He's been here for what, like, and it's close by. He's from what? Well, he's from New York, right? So it's close. New York, yeah. It's 
close to New York, people's right? wives or what? Doing, people's wives are doing what? Well, Batum just complained. Batum's wife just complained a lot. Drew Holiday's wife like went off about like how it's like you know insensitive and no one gives a crap about players' families being uprooted and, and moved. Well, I, I, didn't all take, I didn't take. I didn't take. I didn't take. I didn't take. I didn't take Drew's wife as complaining about being traded. I thought I took hers as about being how they went about trading. Him. Like no communication, no kind of letting him know. That's what I thought was the issue. Well, Batum's, I think, was certainly about being moved. Um, I so, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, but you can't, can't. I mean, you know, play. I get it. I get. I get you upset, but they they not care, man. They paying you. You know, made a hundred million dollars, man. They ain't gonna sit yeah. up here and lose any sleep over trading you, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they not losing any sleep. No matter who, what they post, they're not losing any sleep. So that salary's not changing. They're not. They're not losing any sleep. But I think Harrison Barnes is a fair comp for Tobias's next contract. I, I don't. I don't think that's far off. Player for player, I think it's pretty fair comp. Um, I mean, I mean, that's. I, I can see that, but you know, does Tobias yeah, he gets what he gets. He gets, gets what he gets. Yeah, no, totally. And does, he gets what he gets. And, the, and does Tobias still want to be there? Because yeah, those are things that Harrison wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, so it'll come down to that a little bit. But if you look at the way Maury always built those rocket teams, I know it's different because no James and whatnot, but he usually went cheaper on the four position over the years. And he liked the Covingtons of the world. He liked the like. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. You can do that with James. You could do that because of the way they play. They they basically play four around one, um, with a high pick and roll, and then the big rows and that guy. Everybody shot three, so you can do that because you can find a a four that can spot up and make some shots or get them to start shooting corner shots um, in that system. Covington. But Covington, that, you can't do that every. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can do that. Covington's one of those guys they had for that. Yes, but it was it's different because of how they're playing. So now you're the way you're playing now, you, you can't do that because you're not guys aren't just standing behind the line while one guy plays and you set a pick and roll and you kind of find the weakest link and you go after it. Like that's not what they're mm-hmm. doing right now. So you can't really like Tobias is not going to score twenty points a game just catching the shoot. We've seen that. Yeah, yeah. I could just, um, yeah. As far as the Raptors, I think we win. I'm expecting another big game from Maxi and Embiid. Um, I think Melton has a bounce back game. Uh, he had open shots that he just missed. He was one for seven for two points, but I think he, uh, I think he bounces back a little bit this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I believe that's um that's Thursday that's a Thursday game, and I believe our next game is Saturday again. Um, the, the schedules be kind of wonky for us; been all over the place. Yeah, back to back in four days off. Yeah, that's interesting. Yes, yeah, so we have um so yeah, so Thursday uh, we're hosting the Raptors. Saturday one o'clock we are hosting the Suns. And then Monday, the Wizards. So when we when we see each other again on Friday, we'll be uh, talking uh, Suns and Wizards. That's, the Suns is one o'clock. One o'clock on Saturday. O'clock? Yeah, so t- t- ten o'clock for you guys on that's the West not Coast. National TV. Uh, not just, national no, TV? it's not. I'll be on the. It's national not. National that's that's weird. weird. Raptors game. I, I said TNT earlier. Not on, the, not on the. Not on the college football Saturday. Not going to have that game on that. Where are you going to put it? That's true. Yeah, that's true. 